Okay, hello. This is my package that came in. Just do it. Just do it. From the Nike. Put it open, put it open. Hey, honey. Yeah. I'm going to take the bumper to the Saturday morning. We, we videoing. I'm going to take the bumper to the Saturday morning. We I'm videoing. Take, take the car to the side. Okay, I ordered three pair because I got them at a really good deal. They was having a 25% off and they was already marked down. So let's see what I have. Eight and a half. What color do you think? Do you think yellow, blue, I forgot the other color I ordered. I think purple. So, three in a box. Which one do you think? Turn it this way. It is the blue. You like? You like? Like, like, like. Blue? Yeah, I like those. Bottoms. I look like cotton candy. <laughs> yep. I went and hit it yesterday just to make sure that the color was on point of what I wanted. One color. What do you... A seven. It goes from an eight and a half to a seven. Why? Seven is for men's. Da da! With me wearing an eight and a half to nine, seven size men is my size. So, guess what color this is? Purple or yellow? Do men wear yellow? Yeah. Or do men wear pink? Real men wear pink. Real men wear pink, but yellow is a man's so color. So what color you think this is about being a seven? It's the purple one. Da -da! I knew it. I was gonna get those. I need to try them on because this this the eight that I tried on inhibits mm -hmm. was really tight. So I'm just wondering about this size. I don't know. These are my walking shoes. Opa, 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 opa. <laughs> walking only. They're purple, so they don't really count because they're not my everyday show off. Yeah. Shoes. I run in. I forgot what I run in. Look. You run in uh, Brooks. Brooks. Oh yeah, that's right. It look good. You like? Mm-hmm. Are they red on the bottom? I thought the bottom was red, but they, they look, look orange. More, yeah, they look more orange. So yeah. False advertisement. I thought I was getting a purple and red shoe, but... I guess it depends on what lighting, because if you turn them all the way upside down, they kind of look red, but then they, That's nah, orange. they look orange. Online? They look red. Yep. I like because the dominant color is black. Unless it's like that Nike red because you see how the box is. I think that's what they was maybe going for. I don't know. That ain't what they sold me. I I like them though. Yeah. The shoe that y'all need to see is the black and red. They got them in Hibbets. If I knew I had a $30 off, I would have probably bought them shoes. Okay, so this got to be my last color. So. The yellow. Pressure eight and a half. My shoe is still off, waiting to try them on. No holes in the so, socks. Oh, I think them gonna be the hardest of the hard, right there. Yeah, them, them the fives ones to me. Just because I got a yellow um, quantum record shirt, and I think it'll go lovely with it. But you know what? I just ordered a oh, yellow tough. Nike sweatshirt. It goes with this. It's the yellow with the yellow and black sleeves that match the inside. 
Yeah, those but are yeah. tough. Those are super tough. And let me tell you the difference in DH Gate shoes versus real Vapor Max. Uh oh. So you done bought some uh, DH Gate Vapor Maxes? I bought some DH Gates, two pair of blue and a red pair, and it almost put me down. I'm a walker, and my <laughs> my foot hurt so bad. I ended up having to throw the shoes away. Yeah. Because they was made out of pretty much paper and, and board. Yeah, paper and plastic. So this has the cushioning. The difference in DH Gates. Break it down. You'll never get this type of cushion. It's like material and cardboard or plastic. But it's it's more like foam. Is is I don't is know. The, is the, the material quality? is it the quality? Is awful to me quality the quality you pay what you get for mm -hmm. dh gate shoes is probably 50 dollars is what i paid for this is a little over 100 but since i know how to wheel and deal with my coupons this is a 200 dollars shoe i think i paid 111. i thought mine was like 190. but like i said i know how to wheel and deal with my coupons so Coupon on top of coupon, and then I buy so much that I get percentages get, mm -hmm. off and value customer percentages. And believe me, I'm gonna get. And then you know what works when you go in a store, it doesn't have to be a shoe store, but any store you go in, you ask, Do you all have coupons? That's the secret. They're not gonna tell you if you don't ask. You have to ask for coupons. Mm -hmm. You have coupons, most of the time, they have coupons. They're not allowed to tell the customer that they have coupons. You have to request a coupon. So, that's how you will and deal. Also, when they mark these shoes down on Hibbits or Nike website, wait until they run like a, a one-day special 25% off. Because this shoe save was like $148. With me getting at an additional 25% off, I got it for like $111 or $118. And that's a steal. That's a steal for those. So... Wait until they run that percentage off. And hopefully they don't run out of your size. Yeah, well, if they run out of your size, if they don't have any inhibits, go to Nike. Oh, yep. Then Nike has a variety of colors that you that inhibits may not have. And then also, you can go in inhibit store and they can order you the colors. but Or you can go online, inhibits online. Most of the time, they run specials online versus in-store sales yeah because they'll send you they have the option where you can receive text messages and stuff like that and then a lot of times i have went in habits and wanted to buy a shoe and say well i got y'all running a sale 25 percent off no we're not yes you are i got a text let me see the text they verify the text okay and i make sure i try to give it to everybody in the store before i leave out mm -hmm. hey the code number is blah 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 because when you get a deal, pass it to the next person. Don't just try to get all the deals and, 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 and keep it for yourself. Be selfish with it. Yeah, pass the coupons out to somebody else. So. And Vapor Max are really just the bottom of the shoe because have you seen the other Vapor Maxes? They have a different, like, they have a different shoe part, but the bottom of them is basically that, that, that plastic. Let me show you what I like about Vapor Max. It ain't really just Vapor Max name brand. I dance. You see how this separates? Mm -hmm. I normally dance on my toes. And if this shoe can bend like this is bending, and it doesn't have like this solid where it's just flat and hard to bend, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to dance in it. Gotcha. But the bubbles will burst. It doesn't matter if they're cheap or, or branded shoe. If you keep walking on these or dancing, I have worn this part out because I walk on my heel, like I strike. If you know, like if you go to a foot doctor or go and have your shoe or your feet fitted for a custom, shoe. Custom fitted. Custom fitted. They'll tell you, do you strike with your heel or with your toe? I strike with my heel. That means I land on my heel and heel, I- Heel, toe. Yes. And I roll. Mm -hmm. So this part I wear out first. Okay. And then I like the arch. Most shoes, you can pay $200 for a pair of sneakers, and then they'll try to sell you the inserts for a athlete fit, fit or a arch support. If you buy a good pair of shoes, you don't have to replace the inserts. True, that's so true. So you're paying another $40 or $50 for an insert, so you're looking at $350 or $250. 
for a good pair of sneakers, but like I said, if you go ahead and pay the money, you already have the inserts. And another thing about DH Gates, if you pull out that insert, it's like a piece of foam. It has no support. That's the other difference with DH Gates. It's just a real cheap made shoe, but you get what you pay for, so. So overall, Vapor Max, what would you rate those? I, me, Vapor Max is my shoe. I've tried all kinds of shoes, and Vapor Max. I said pro. I meant to say plus. Vapor Max is my go-to shoe. I wear these every day. And you see, retails for two hundred. And where did you buy these from? Nike. Then, if you join Nike as a, a member, you get an additional discount. So if you join in, they'll send you an alert or like an email alert where you get a, like a 25% off for new members. And then you uh, register to get their, um, um, their notifications and alerts. So first impressions of all the shoes, what would you say? Were all of them what you were hoping for? Yes, because if it's not, I, I'm one, I pay too much for shoes to just keep them. If I pay a lot for something and if it doesn't quite work out, I'm taking them back. Just like that. I bought two pair of uh, Nike shoes from Hibbets. I ordered them online. I took a pair back yesterday because when I put it on, it was the beige, Flight 3 beige. And the flight or the more like knitted one? It was, it's to me, I like more of the fabric, the like breathable fabric is mm. what it is. Okay. And when I put it on, and I probably could have loosened it up, but it was such a snug fit that my feet was numb. Mm. I'm thinking, okay, let me pull them off. They're going back to the store. Okay. And I didn't have as much cushion as I had with these than I did the other one. But I kept the black pair because like I said, the black pair is going to be like my dressier athletic shoes for work which i'll wear these to work too but my blacks are my go-to because you can wear black with anything so i could put on black with black slacks and it all blend so out of the three colors you purchased today which are which one would you say you i like, like the, the purple the purple one the most probably because the dominant color is black mm -hmm. so i think that Sleep. kind of stands out okay. but i like them all i think i'm well satisfied because I probably didn't pay but three hundred dollars for all three pairs, so that's, that's a steal. Right, because you so get one of them for two. Six hundred dollars, and with, like I said, with the coupons, the free shipping, they told me I would get it uh, April first, and I got it like really in two days. Mm-hmm. Two days a day, but can't beat that either for free delivery. True. Well, thank you for this unboxing. You're welcome. <laughs>